Jr. And it's 2018 and we're in Portland, Indiana at the Vintage Motorbike Show. And this year, right Junior? Yeah. We're not staying in a tent. We upgraded to this beautiful camper that we borrowed. It's like a hotel on wheels. Oh, hey Donnie. Hey, hey guys. Donnie. Tell Grandma thank you for letting us borrow her camper. Yeah. Oh, well Grandma don't know we took it. She don't? No, she's sleeping right now. But when she wakes up, she's gonna know we took the camper. Oh, I doubled up on her pain meds. Oh. Okay. So she gonna be sleeping for like 72 hours? Well, maybe a little longer to get home. Good thinking, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that noise? You hear something? Sounds like somebody's in the bathroom over there. Yeah. Shouldn't be nobody in that bathroom. <laughs> Slippers! Hey, how's it going? What are you doing here? Figured I'd uh, tag along with you guys because I love vintage motorbikes. Oh, great. Huh, slipper. Stowaway, huh? Oh, Where yeah. Where do you think they're going to sleep? Oh, Terrell, there's plenty of room. Grandma says this camper sleeps six. Oh, great. Yeah. Not that many of us. Should be good. Yeah. That'll be fine, Terrell. Hey, come on. Let's go buy some bikes, baby. Down in Portland. Jacobson, Terrell. We got it all together, got everything working, running, driving. Got our seat back there, temporary seat. Two seat clamps, we can take it right out. We can take the tailgate off. Got the brake lights, tail lights are all hooked up. But we did have one small problem this morning. We went to take off and broke the chain. We broke this chain. So guess what? Went to the true value. That's number 60 chain. That's combine chain. Went to the true value here in Portland and they had a 10 foot piece. Another feller loaned us his angle grinder and cut us a new piece, adjusted it tight. Now it's heavy duty. This thing will do a wheelie with three fat guys in the back. So, let's go for a ride. Let's drive around Portland and show you what it's all about.
to the legendary Joe Malinowski, yeah, that's custom great. mini bike builder. You bet. I'm Pterodactyl, glad to meet you. Good to meet you. But you know what? There's one thing missing off this here mini bike. What's that? One of these custom Carol Tecumseh engine stickers. Oh boy, I like the lady on there. That's pretty. Yeah, yeah. would you like one of these? Yeah, please. All right, there you go. Now that'll be $3.99. $3.99? Oh, it's not worth it. Here, you can have it back. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't need it. It says here Tecumseh. I don't need that. <laughs> See you around, Dacto. <laughs> Hey, Gerald. Yeah, what do you want, Slippers? We should uh, go check out some bikes. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe buy something. I didn't come down here just to relax all day. All right, let me go find Junior. Tell him, right. see if he wants to go with. Junior! Hey, you want to go look at... Pa, what are you doing? Close the door! Me and Slippers are going to go look at some bikes. You want to come with? Go look at bikes, I don't care. <laughs> All right. Pick up some more TP too. Gonna find something good today. Yeah, me too. It's a deal. buy a bike today. I, I'm liking this Honda. Alright. Does this thing run? It did three years ago when I parked it. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I think that's too much bike for you. What? No. Yeah, yeah, you're an old man. This, this is perfect for Look, me. How about this one right here? Uh, what? I don't want that thing. That thing's tiny. That's just for you. That's not going to fit. I want this one. How much do you want for this? 175 Four grand, firm. Four grand? <laughs> uh, how about 500 bucks? Deal. All right, great, sounds good. Looks like this baby's coming home with slips. You got the 500? Yeah, 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 just give me a minute. You don't even know if that thing runs, Slippers. How are we gonna get it back to the camper? It's already sold. Uh, I'll find a way, I'll You can't get touch it, it till you give me the 500. Oh, please. sir, I'm interested in this here Terra Cat. Or as I would call it, the Terra Cycle. Yeah, that, that's a nice bike. Yeah. I want to buy it. No, I don't think you want to buy that one. Why not? I got a prized possession over here you probably want. What's that? What do you got? Check this one out. You'll like it. I don't want that. It's a bicycle with a motor on it. It's fast. I don't care. That's like something the Wicked Witch of the West would ride. That ain't even got a motor on it. I'm gonna put a motor on it. I'm terrible fixes all. I don't want that stupid thing. Oh. Well, I want that. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars? I ain't giving you a thousand dollars for that. I'll give you fifty bucks. Cash money? I'll pay you with a check. I don't take checks. That's all I got. Okay, I'll take it. All right, deal. Fifty bucks. See you later, bucko. You ain't leaving nowhere until you get my money. He's gonna guy. come back. I'm leaving.
Okay, that's it. That's another year down here in Portland, Indiana. So make sure to come back next year and see us again. Yeah, I had a blast. Hey, who ate all the hot dogs? Uh, wasn't me. Oh, slippers. Uh, well, come on, guys. We gotta go. Grandma's gonna be waking up soon. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we right. get back. All right. Well, we gotta go. All right. There's all right, your dinner. Yeah. There's your dinner. See There's you next dinner. year. All right, dinner. let's pick this crap up and get out of here. Yeah, right, let's, let's go. go. Okay, we're back from Portland. I'm back here at my shop. Everything went well, uh, other than the chain on the Jacobson broke, which we fixed out there. The only other casualty was the Baja, and that's because Donnie was driving it. Donnie's kind of hard on stuff. But I couldn't yell at the kids, because, you know, we did use Grandma's camper, and whew, we were cutting it close, man. We used that camper and she never did find out that we took it for the weekend. <laughs> that Donnie, he's a trickster. So what happened to the Baja was the, uh, my throttle plate, my elaborate throttle control and choke control I made, it broke. Couldn't handle the vibration. Then we had it re-welded down there while we were in Portland and it broke again. You know what the problem was when it breaks? Holds the throttle wide open. And Donnie's trying to stop it. He's running wide open. He's like, Grandma, Grandma, help me, help me. And then we got it shut down, and he was all scared. So I made a new throttle control. A very simple one, which is what I should have made in the first place. Goes right directly to the throttle and a spring to return it. Very simply. That's what I should have did in the first place. And then I had to weld a nut on the inside of this cover so I could grab it in two spots. This is some kind of uh, Briggs bracket that I saved from uh, Vanguard, I think. So I thought, well, I could use this. So I had to sandblast this cover. I'll have to repaint it. And then for the choke, come over here, Mr. Cameraman. I just made another bracket that went into the holes, mounting holes that were already on the carburetor for a cover. Then I drilled a hole in it so I could get at that adjustment. So I have my choke control out here because you need it. Otherwise, you got to reach way under the seat. Another problem I noticed was the vent tube. You know, I couldn't run the vent tube back to the carburetor to, to suck the excess oil because we're over revving this motor in there. So I'm going to try this. Putting a Briggs fuel filter on it with a piece of hose and I'll run it up under here. So when that oil comes gurgling out, it'll go so far and it'll drain back in. So I'm going to try that. Because oil was all over the back here from over revving it. And then, of course, the kill switch, one of the wires came off, ground wire. That was another thing. Donnie's screaming, he can't shut it off. I'm like, shut it off, shut it off. He's flipping the switch, it wouldn't shut off. So that could have been disastrous. So then I went back. And I, I went, I bought one of these kits off of my favorite store, eBay. And then I got this crimper tool for crimping these connectors, crimping those little connectors on. So I cleaned up all the wiring. So now I got connectors going everywhere. So if I want to take something apart, it's all solidly connected. And then that's what fixed the kill switch. Oh yeah, one other thing. The gas tank broke too. One of the studs, this stud here pulled out of the tank and then there was gas gushing out everywhere. <laughs> so poor Donnie, lucky he didn't get crashed and catch on fire on this Baja. So I had to weld this back in, reseal it. And then there were a couple of little dents and dings in it I filled in, now I'm gonna have to repaint it. So I'm going to try to rubber mount this better on here, take up some of that vibration because I think that's what broke it was the vibration. So that was the only casualty.
So when you build these things, you know, you don't know what's going to happen, what's going to break in the future. That's why you got to have skills. Go back and do it.